We've warned about the risk of Chinese shares on multiple occasions here in the economic war room. We've talked about the thrift savings plan. We've talked about how they've been accessing our markets and taking our capital. We've had Roger Robinson and Gordon Chang and Frank Gaffney and others that we've talked about the Committee on the Present Danger China. Well, today we invite into the economic war room someone who knows this risk, not just watching it from afar, but up close and personal. So we welcome Joel Kaplan live from Israel. Joel, tell us about yourself. Well, thanks for having me, Kevin, and also congratulations on your recent uh, WVW TV broadcast. Um, well, I'm a former uh, middle school and high school teacher. I grew up in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. Um, I started a business when I was about 30 years old, about 20 years ago. I did quite well uh, with um, selling educational products and textbooks on Amazon. And um, at the present time, I'm over here in Israel in tour guide school, but that is a result of having gone bankrupt after investing in um, Chinese companies that had been trading on NASDAQ. So I had a big shift. I'm enjoying living over here in Jerusalem now, but uh, it was a, quite a journey to go from being a successful entrepreneur to being defrauded by the Chinese. Wow. Well, you unfortunately had to become an expert on Chinese equities. And we've talked about luck and coffee and we've talked with Roger Robinson. And, you know, tell us basically overview. What is the China hustle? I know they made a movie about this with Dan David, but what, what does that mean? Yes. First, it's you know, it's great. You've had these experts like Roger Robinson and Chris Icavella and Gordon Chang on your show. I don't know how many victims you, you've had. I am one of, I would estimate, tens of thousands of victims, some small victims they may not even know they've been hustled, and others that lost a substantial amount of their life savings, including retirees. But uh, to your question, the, the China Hustle itself is a documentary movie that came out in 2017 that's an expose that, that shows how this is a ongoing systemic formulaic stock fraud. But the term it is also widely used now to describe general uh, chicanery and shenanigans and trickery that emanate from Chinese Communist Party, whether it's counterfeiting driver's licenses or um, selling products that have been uh, copied to these outright financial frauds. Uh, and uh, Senator Rubio often is, if you Google the China hustle, there are actually a few bills in Congress that are actually called Stopping the China Hustle. Yeah. Uh, if your viewers hadn't been yet seen the documentary, it's available on Amazon and Netflix, and it shows all the lawyers that were involved, all the law firms, uh, some of the political players. And this was a fraud that really began in 2008 and has been ongoing for more than a decade and is still, as we speak, uh, happening and has probably defrauded American investors out of 50 to $150 billion of market cap. 